The Specs are in full migration at the start of week three, and even at that, they manage to give Jeff the slip. Jeff leads his hunters to a limit of ducks, which puts me in the game for an afternoon goose hunt and to test my new DNA singles. Mel's ducks vanished, and Daryl saves the afternoon, finishing off the group's limited ducks over a tiny pothole, putting his wonder dog Deke to work. What an amazing three-day tour. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27-year-old school teacher and said to myself, I'm gonna build a hunting lodge. That was 23 years ago. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across five million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. Here we go, start of week three. Ah, things are looking good, lots of birds around. Uh, I chatted with Mel, he quarterbacked the, the meeting this morning. He said uh, he's looking good for a hunt or maybe Jeff. And having said that, you know how there's always drama. So uh, I guess we'll keep you posted on how that shakes down. But uh, uh, repeat group of hunters for the most part so they know how to load and unload the trailers. That's always nice, we don't have to train them too much. Uh, so yeah, we're looking forward to another great three days. We're trying to find a puddle here that the birds are using. They're eating the swaths. Trying to get them shot out of here for the farmer. Brad hunted it the other day. It went good. So we're hoping to repeat that process. That is a buttload of specs. Whew. Now that is somewhere between a buttload and a crap ton. Hey Mel, how you doing? I'm good. Hey, that puddle, that south puddle's good to go. Perfect. And all the specks are feeding with the ducks right around the puddle right now. You'll probably have to do a field spread plus the puddle spread. Well, they're, like, they're feeding right around the puddle. I know, but that's awesome for you. You don't think a guy could just get them drifting with the decoys in the water? Well, you probably could, but I'd throw a few FMDs out. Why not? Oh, yeah, I'll throw, like, some behind me or whatever, too. Yeah. Yeah, there's, good. there's a, quite a few in there. Awesome, we got one early. Yeah, mine looks good too right now. All right, we're gonna go around and check some other stuff and then we'll come back and watch this. Yeah, if, if any of the changes, Jeff, just let me know early enough that we can get something else planned. You quarterbacking? Yeah. Okay, good. Back in a bit, bye. Perfect, man. Well, I've been watching this field all season and it seems every time I ask for permission, the geese leave. But I asked for permission this morning, I got it, and the geese are still here, so that's a good sign. Let's see if these birds are still in there. I'm waiting for permission on a nice little speck slash duck hunt. Oh, there they are. Nice, 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 nice. This is good. Lots of birds in the air. The skies are, the skies are starting to roll. So this hunt, what am I seeing? I'm seeing a bunch of speckle bellies, a few snows in there. There are some Canada's in there too. Primarily speckle bellies from what I can tell in there and a bunch of ducks too. I texted the landowner earlier. Yes, you can. That's fantastic. So that's good. This is a good hunt here. I just need to get the inventory and see where they're roosting. Uh, this could be probably an afternoon option with a good wind or a fantastic morning option. So I'll let the guys know I got this one. I'll do a little tour, get some inventory on it, and I'm in the game. It's nice. Well, I'm pretty excited for this hunt. It's a, lots and lots of birds in there, and it's a small puddle. So it should be a fast and furious. Good, good, good hunt. The hunters should have a lot of fun. We're gonna sit and watch it for the rest of the night, put it to bed. Uh, this time of night, you don't really wanna get too far away just, just in case something happens and the other guys have to scramble. Barring all unforeseen circumstances, it should go well. But there's lots that can go wrong between now and tomorrow. We'll, we'll see what happens. So what, he's got ducks puddling and in the 
puddle with swaths, and then yeah. specks feeding and ducks feeding behind the swath in the swaths. Yeah. That's a textbook hunt I'll, right there. I'll make sure he takes some speck floaters and does it right. Yeah. I talked okay, about that. Okay. I talked about that setup at my Cabela's seminar today. <laughs> The textbook decoys behind you on the hill and the floaters out front, so that okay. that's good. Well, we have to, we'll just draw it out and make sure he gets it buttoned up. Right on, all right, good, man. Bye-bye, chat later, okay. bye. So right now, it looks like Mel and Jeff are both good, which is, which is nice. Uh, you know, we've got another hour and 15 minutes or so before, uh, before the lights go out, so anything can happen, but right now we're breathing easy, which is nice. Should be a good way to kick it off tomorrow morning. Both uh, both hunts have ducks and specks, a few Canada's, and uh, it'll be interesting. Tomorrow morning should be good. A lot, a lot, a lot of birds coming out of this puddle. Man, they're still coming. There's got to be 4,000 in that one string. That's a lot of birds. Holy. We're not sure how many are in here. We're just hoping a whole bunch of them come back tomorrow. See where we're gonna hunt this thing. Well, this is where Brad hunted. You can see the donut circles from the buckets in the mud. <laughs> Look at the swath here. There's not one head left. Man, it's amazing the damage they can do. Oh, got my lucky pin. Dab in the ground. Let's head back, get some stuff ready, have a little dinner. Have a nap. Be back here in the morning. Yeah. Well, we're starting to look good here. We got just about all the decoys in. The blinds are buried in good in the swaths. So yeah, when we originally set up for this, we were gonna hunt the puddle only, but we thought we'd do better on the geese if we moved back into the field. So the puddles, 7,500 yards away. We're uh, just moved back a little bit. We got a field rig out, some ducks, decoys, spec decoys, a couple of hundred out here. We should have a, a great morning. Thickened up nice, everything looks good here. The wind's sticking. We'll uh, see how we do. Time's gonna tell once the lights come on, but it looks good so far. I'm happy. Right side coming in low. Rip them. You missed one. How's that? Are they close enough? Right side coming around. Whack him, whack him. Someone shoot him. Nice. Oh. Go on him, go on him. Missed him, missed him, missed him. Still missing him. Oh, that one kind of caught him. That one took him out. Did we get the one on the left? Yeah. Don't mind my heckling. No problem. That was a pretty impressive shot, Jake. I worked on that all summer. Whack him, whack him. Nice shot, my Jake. You guys left some leftovers. Just out early this morning looking for a, a hunt to clean up some birds for the afternoon. Jeff and Mel are out in the field right now. They're both doing pretty well, but uh, we might need to get them on a few Canada geese to finish out the day's worth of limits. Um, got this field right here I'm taking a look at. There's a lot of specks in it, which uh, we probably won't need for the afternoon, so I'll, I'm gonna burn out of here and uh, find one that has a few more Canadas in it. It's uh, not really a bad thing, but uh, we just have too many ducks and specks around right now, which is a good problem to have, but uh, for this afternoon, we gotta keep looking for some Canadas. Go on him, go on him! Nice! 
Nice volley, guys. You got five. Six. <laughs> Specs on the right, guys. Specs on the right. <laughs> Okay, let's go on these ducks. Go, 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 go. Those specs aren't gonna double pass, so. <laughs> go on them, go on them. Better shot, Mikey. Go, 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 go. You guys only got one? Okay, guys, get ready. Go, 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 go! All right, guys, we gotta clean up ducks. We gotta be really, really close. We just got an update from Jeff, and uh, he's got all his ducks this morning. So it's looking like we're gonna need a, a goose hunt for him. But uh, was just driving up to check out another hunt and uh, stumbled across these honkers here. It's uh, it's still really early here. Lots of time for it to build. And uh, there's a hundred and a half birds out there right now. We're just uh, sitting here hoping a couple more groups come in and turns it into a, a really good option for the afternoon. <laughs> the only kind of little scary thing is there's two coyotes sitting in the field kind of hunting around right now about uh, 300 meters away from them but uh, hopefully it shouldn't affect them but uh, we'll do some more scouting this morning but uh, we're not going to rule this one out as a good option for the afternoon. A few more birds are coming to this field the coyotes are kind of disappearing into the wood line. Uh, it's getting about time where I can get a hold of a landowner here without causing any uh, issues with that waking them up too early or anything but uh, We'll get a call on this, get permission, and we'll we'll lock this one down for a good afternoon cleanup. Come on, Howard. You've done your job for the day. Yeah, we're doing great. Oh, probably what been. Sun's been up for 20 minutes. We got our limited ducks in. Seen tons of ducks this morning. And so we're gonna change things around a little bit and try and get some of these geese shot. So we'll see how we do here. Okay, I'll come have a look at it this afternoon. Yeah, thanks, Bill. All right. So I can get permission on it if they're in there? Okay, till, say, Friday? Okay. I'll come have a look this afternoon. Thanks, Bill. But you got to like that when the landowner phones you and tells you there's geese there. Oh, look at those ones right behind us coming now. <laughs> But yeah, so that was one of the landowners a little farther to the west. He just phoned and told me there's geese hitting his field. So we'll go check that this afternoon and might have something lined up for tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to go get the truck. We'll just bring all the decoys sort of to a pile right in front of these blinds and then I'll pull the truck through and we'll, we'll load her up and we'll get you back, get you some lunch and we we'll get out of here quick enough, we might even get you a little nap in, but I wouldn't count on it. No. Well, it didn't turn out exactly the way we want it. We didn't see many specks. I think they might have got rocked off a roost or something, but lots of ducks, tons and tons and tons of ducks. We shot a limit early and probably could have shot another two limits. So I think Daryl's got ducks lined up for Mel's guys because they got all their geese and no ducks. And we got all our ducks and hardly any geese, so Claudio's got some goose, geese, goose options lined up for the guys to go hunt geese this afternoon. So I got a call from Claudio. He's uh, got a good honker option for the guys for the afternoon. He asked me to come check out this field I've been watching for a few days with uh, a pile of ducks in it. It's a swath barley field. They're puddling in this pothole, and uh, that's going to be the other afternoon option for the guys. I just got to go secure permission and uh, Claudio's set on his field and we'll be set for the afternoon. So right now we had uh, we had to pull a little bit of a switch. Jeff's hunt um, didn't quite go as well as planned. I mean he got all his ducks real quick. The specs didn't even show up which is kind of odd but uh, you know it happens. I mean wild animals do whatever they want when they want. 
Uh, so I'm over here on this one. Now there's ducks on it, but I mean, we're gonna have to forego some ducks, which is fine. Lots of specks, a few Canada's, a handful of snow. So it'll be a good afternoon option to cover up uh, uh, Jeff's guys. And then Mel got all his specks and he didn't have any of his ducks show up. So it was kind of interesting. And had we reacted early enough, we might've been out actually able just to leave the rigs and move the hunters, but it's pretty hard to pull that off. So anyways, uh, Daryl picked up a hunt on, on some swaths. So we'll pound those off for the landowner, which is always a good thing. And then uh, I've got this one, and uh, and then Jay's got one that he's looking at too. So we're we're covered, not overly stressed. We just gotta make sure we shoot some birds this afternoon. Good day, yeah, great day, a lot of fun. Oh, Mel had us lined up, good. It was uh, a little bit challenging because the uh, wind was twi twisting around on us. We're trying to figure out side shoot, front shoot, moving around, but yeah. we made it, made it happen. They came in behind us a little bit, but it didn't matter either way because we were going to uh, get our. And we're gonna get our limit either way. So. Oh, we were. Like we could have killed two limits. Oh, easy, easy. easy. on the specs. Easy. Easy. I thought they worked great. I yeah. mean, it started oh, over, did. but I thought yeah. they came right we were around. A little women. slow, us yeah. killing a little bit. It was great. That happens when you haven't been hunting in a, in a, in a right. year. So right. we're just coming off a dove, yeah. you know. So, yeah. but yeah. the ducks didn't no show ducks. up. Yeah, no ducks. Not but six man, seven. goose hunt, awesome. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. I think my calling put it over there. It was, <laughs> if, they re, if they remotely acted like they wanted to flare, I, I hit that feed call, boom. Boom. <laughs> yeah, like, hey, man, I froze right them in midair. I know, yeah. I said, whoa, let me hit the feed. <laughs> hit the feed. Yeah, yeah. Um, Hashtag hitting the feed. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's a good thing you were there, buddy. <laughs> Hashtag hit the feed. That's <laughs> what it takes. That's what it takes. This kind of worked out hey, good. I'd much good. rather have the straight geese. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rather than half a limit of ducks, and then we got to go scratch out a, a good hunt to get, you know, a few more ducks. That we got some good hunts for you tonight, so awesome. it's a real good chance. Yeah, we'll, can, we'll finish it off. Awesome, good. It's gonna be great. Yeah, yeah. no, it is. It's gonna be great. To the deck. All right. 